when you're smiling, when you're smiling. Hi guys, hi. <laughs> A really little funny. behind the scenes, gonna pull back the curtain. Yes, I'm a natural beauty. Everybody knows that. Absolutely. Yeah. But even natural beauties need a little help on television. So um, she's putting uh, makeup. This is Natalie. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Natalie um, uh, does makeup here on Hollywood Stay Live. We're backstage. This is like the little green room. I've showed you this before. Look, Tanner's over there. Tanner's Hello. Working hard. Who's behind me? Garcelle's getting her hearted back there. Hi. Hi. I don't know where Kristen is. She's back there. But um, anywho, so we I thought since um, uh, she makes me look extra beautiful, it's like beautiful plus, what would you call it? Like it's an a, enhancement of you know, natural beauty. Um, I thought, Natalie, maybe you could give some, some beauty tips to um, to people uh, watching this. Yeah, of course. What is the number one thing? Because not everybody has a makeup artist that they're, uh, well, actually, nobody in the world really has a makeup artist at their dis the disposal <laughs> uh, or like an unlimited supply. So if you could pick maybe three things that could help somebody um, if they wanted to, I'm not talking like go out on the town makeup, but just like look a little better. Cause some of you people I see you out and about. <laughs> Need can, a little help? You can lose, use a little concealer under here, I'm just saying. Well, I definitely think it starts with good skin. So make sure and wash your face, sunscreen every day. Take off your makeup at night, definitely every time. SPF. You go. SPF, SPF, yes. SPF. Yes. What now, Brandon? Brandon's back there. Go ahead and say it. What? I, I want to know what products. Oh, she you has want to any know what specific, products? Any specific? It depends on your skin type and what what you're looking for. If you're looking for, you know, if you're looking for something for oily skin or for mature skin, it's always nice. Coconut oil is a really good go-to if you're wanting to remove makeup quickly and naturally. That's say a good what? One. Really? Mm -hmm. Coconut oil is great. <gasps> There's Kristen. Hi. Say hi. What are we talking about? Makeup. Oh. Makeup. I, makeup. I should get out of the conversation. Ah, uh, stop it. <laughs> Um, and then I think uh, brows are always important. If you frame your eyes, brows, and just a little little liner or a little eyeliner, a uh, shadow liner around the eyes is like a quick way if you, you're wanting to brighten up your eyes. What do you mean or, a shadow liner? Like if you're not wanting to look harsh and you're just wanting to um, just basically define the lash line. So put a little shadow inside of the lash line and that just makes it look very natural. That's a, that's a nice way. Um, some concealer, definitely. I Can I do Brandon's eyes. makeup right now? <laughs> Can I put some sh a shadow liner on Brandon? Um, skincare products I love. She just ignored me. Murad. Okay. Oh, you Mir like Murad? I, I do yes. like Murad a lot. That's yes. a really great product. I've used that before. It's yeah, great. It's, it's a really good product. And, they have, and then with your sunscreen, make sure it's UVA and UVB because you want to protect from cancer and you also want to protect anti-aging. So that's for Is both. mine both, Brandon? Yours is both. It is? It is. Thank, thank goodness. Good. Some heads were gonna roll. Ah. Yeah. And then, um, oh, I have we two gotta, big lines here. Yeah, so so what is this about? We're contouring. We're uh, just defining his yeah, features. Sure. So right here in the okay. cheekbone. It's sort of like putting a highlighter on the na the most beautiful parts of the, my natural beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not think of it as trying to conceal the. No, the, the we're things. defining. That's all we're doing is just defining. We're creating shades, basically. So we're just etching in his lovely features. That's all we're doing right now. We're not trying to create the illusion of a defined face. No. Let's choose our words differently. They highlight yes the uh, the features. Um, you know, I take my makeup off the yes, second right. I get done with uh, TV. If it were up to me, you know, in the early oh, days on yeah. Leno, I never even did makeup so for like the first, I'm not kidding you, like six okay. years. Really? Uh, yeah. I was just like, okay. eh, we're out in the field, it doesn't matter. But you've got good skin though, so. Uh, I was lucky. And then one day, um, someone goes, do you want makeup? I'm like, no. They go, just yeah, let me put some on. And I, and I saw yeah, myself in TV, I go, never mind, I want makeup, <laughs> you look better. It makes a big difference. Well, you have the lights, you have, you know, the cameras and all of that, that you know, you don't necessarily have in everyday life. So for somebody who is on camera every day, you would do stuff like this, but. I'm also just a bit older than I was then. <laughs> 27, 28 now? 27 or 28, yeah. <laughs> um, so, it, and I think, you know, your eyes disappear if you don't have makeup on. Absolutely, like Everything yeah. sort of blends together. Yeah, you can look okay. washed out with like the, the harsh lighting and stuff like that, so you gotta have color. So now I like, give everyday tips. Now give me a tip if you've got a date or you've got a function or something to go to, like, What's if, if five minutes, what can you do? Five minutes, make sure your skin looks good. Your skin is on point, and if you're on a date, I like to do more like lip gloss or something like because in case you want to smooch a little bit and you don't, you know. So don't do a bold lipstick. red lip. 
You can, but you know, maybe maybe first date you could do a bold red lip. Second date, if you're planning on doing some kissing, then. Or some maybe lip you gloss. wait till the third, darling. No, Whoa, not look if you're at me. her. No. <laughs> what is going on with you? Are you uh, dating? Uh, thanks, Tanner. Uh, dating, but nothing successful yet. Yeah. Yet. I feel like there's a lot of people here dating. We were just talking about Bumble. Yes. Bumble. Amy Schumer allegedly, reportedly met her new boyfriend on Bumble, which is a dating app where girls choose the guys first. Are you on that one? No, I'm a little old fashioned. I'm kind of scared to approach guys first. I, I'm totally fine having a conversation, but I feel yeah. I'm, I'm more reserved in that aspect, definitely. I get that. I'm, I'm, I, when I was single and dating, I, um, I would never approach people unless I was <laughs> drunk. <laughs> unless I was like, oh, I'm like, what's your name? So anytime after 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. What do you, <laughs> Brenda mm -hmm. with the sass. What are you doing now? I'm filling in your eyebrows just a little bit. Okay. Just in these little areas where the hair just kind of um, comes in just a little bit lighter than mm -hmm. the others. Mm. So I'm just putting in basically a little shadow there just to... Do you want to do one eyebrow and then we'll show the difference between the two? And it's just a very, very subtle, subtle difference. All right. See if you notice. Okay. One of my eyebrows... <laughs> you just watched it get done. One of my eyebrows has it in which one? Which one do you think? It's this one. <laughs> you can tell. Can you tell? You can. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so just right in through here where it just, and a lot, everybody has that, where they have hair that grows in just a little bit lighter on the top or underneath, and yeah. so if you're wanting to make them fuller, which also makes you look younger, full brows make you look younger. Uh-huh. So that's a good thing to do. Well, just, you look about 12 right now. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going I'm, I'm for. No, I'm shooting for 11, so work harder. <laughs> um, uh, now, here's a, full, a good question. You said brows are important, and I'll, this is my last question for today. I go full bush brow. I just let my brow go to its natural thing. Would you, would you shape it up? Would you you have nice? really good brows because he has a good arch and everything like that. So I don't think that you necessarily need to be. You already have a good shape. So there's really. This, this brings me back to my original point. A natural beauty. You know, some people have to work at it. Some people have surgery. Not, not this time. Some people ha have to have to really do some drastic things to just be presentable. I'm blessed. <laughs> All right. About three more hours of this, and I'll be good to go. <laughs> Bye guys. Hey, how do they follow you on uh, social media if they want? Um, on Instagram, I'm at Natty Artist. N-A-T-T-Y Artist. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.